Welcome to APF 2K Franchise, and after the last video, I know it was weird, it was a Game 4, also a update video, but this week we're going to get yet another rival, uh, but it's actually a rival, the Redcoats, uh, since even the first season we have issues against the Redcoats, and now we have even more. They have some former players of ours, and overall we just have a, a hard time facing this team. If you are one. not subscribed, Let's do this. Uh, uh, well I think it's like 70% of you are unsubscribed, so please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Um, this Red Coast team is super, super hardcore, especially with our new quarterback, okay. Austin Stewart. He's a great pocket passer, so hopefully the Wolves can do something and they get ball first. Now Clark gets the ball, he chucks to a defender and almost gets a first down. Third down and one coming up. This Redcoats team is really good, they could make the playoffs. And now McWilliams gets the ball again, he spins and gets a first down. And now Clark gets the ball again, he's running with the ball and gets about eight. This Wolves team just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and runs until they can't anymore. Now O'Connell setting up under center. He's got to throw the ball. He steps back. He gets brushed. He runs to the left side. He runs to the right side. He circles around. He's running with his feet and gets a first down. Showing his true athletic ability. O'Connell under center now. Again. Giving the ball to Mike Clark. Clark hitting the hole perfectly, using his speed down the field. He almost breaks a tackle and gets down at the 13-yard line. Mike Clark is a powerhouse in this league already. McWilliams now, after Clark being tired, is in the game. O'Connell's looking at the defense, throws on the run, perfect pass to Michael Ingram for a touchdown. First score of the game for the Wolves. At home, O'Connell throwing a dime across his body. Austin Stewart now under center after a penalty. Gives the ball to Furman. Furman breaks a tackle. He's running down the field, the former Wolf and the former Bear slash Violent player, former MVP, runs it down the sideline for a big gain. And after a big sack, second down 15, they give the ball to Malcolm Waters, and Waters gets about a few yards. Waters is in at fullback now. Stewart sits back, throws over the middle of the field, it's overthrown, just barely missing the target. Now O'Connell sets up the to the out route during the Teddy Moon for the first down. And I want to say, you don't have to, but if you want to support this channel through Patreon, the link is down below. And now, O'Connell throws across his body to Eric Trout. Almost across the line. Trout makes the catch. And now O'Connell's running to the right side. He throws across his body to the open. Michael Ingram. Ingram spins for the first down. Oh, my. O'Connell was just surveying the defense and finally found someone open. He gives it to Mike Clark again. Clark running with the ball here. He can't well with the tackle. A great silver DB in this league. And they give it to McWilliams again. And McWilliams trying to... Forced the ball for a first down. O'Connell outrunning the pressure and throws a dime to Teddy Moon across the field. First down. They're close to the red zone now. O'Connell sending back perfect blocking here. He's now getting pressured and he holds on to the ball too long and gets sacked for almost a 10 yard loss. Whilst Kingsley, the strong safety, comes in and sacks him for such a big loss. Now they give it to Mike Clark again on the running play. And oh my goodness, he hits it down the sideline. Uses the stiff arm to get a couple of yards. First and goal. We're starting now in the second half, or second quarter, sorry. They're throwing it deep to Ingram. And Ingram can't get his feet inbounds. Almost perfectly passed. O'Connell in the shotgun. 
red zone. It's hard to score here. He throws a fade route, and it's almost picked off. So close. Wow, what a, what a throw. Austin Stewart now steps back, throws down the field, and it's caught! Oh my goodness, it's caught over Gruen! What a big catch, holy wow. Cool Diddy with a big, big catch over him, and now Furman gets the ball. He's slow, but he gets the first down. Now Austin Stewart gives it to Waters. Waters forcing his way. He's an X factor on this offense, but he just needs some more touches. He might be the starter if they get rid of Waters. Austin Stewart now under center. Pitches it to Furman. Furman trying to find some blocking here and gets hit for a loss. Third down and six. They give it to Furman again and Burrow tackles him. They're setting up for the field goal here. Redcoats kick it, and it's through the uprights. Three to nine against the Wolves. Bryant Bland with a good kick. Now it's Wolves ball. O'Connell now gives the ball to McWilliams. McWilliams getting perfect blocking down the field. He jukes. He goes down the sideline and gets tackled at the 44. McWilliams with a big, big stretch play to the left side. Now O'Connell under center here. He sees what the Redcoats are giving him. There's some rushing here and Michael Ingram gets wide open towards the sideline for a big first down. Using his speed on the fade route. The Redcoats uh, defense isn't super fast but they are talented. O'Connell sets his feet. He's running away from pressure. He tries to get some yards with his feet, but gets tackled behind the line. He needs to know how to throw the ball away. And he throws the left side to Tenny Moon for a good game. Moon is actually getting some solid yards this game. And now Clark gets the ball and gets a first down. Sacramento is driving down this field here. What exactly can they do against this Red Coast defense? Will they break? They throw to the right side of Stan Man on a quick out route, and it's caught for about seven. Main is a powerful tight end, and he's fast. He just can't block very well. That's why usually when he's in, they don't run very well at all. Now O'Connell throws to the left side on the out route, and Eric Trout catches the ball. Four first down, they call no huddle. O'Connell in the shotgun. Sets up, runs to the right side. He keeps going, he throws across his body. It's almost intercepted, but there's a penalty on the field. Who's it on? It's on the Wolves. The clock's gonna run down. I believe and they have enough time they kick a field goal Sacramento's up 12 to 3 the slow scoring game and again I know I keep mentioning this but here if you're a patreon you are the halftime show I talk about the stats and your name will be here um, as well the more players I'm given will broaden the poll and you will be shown as a MVP every month which means if you have a good if your player has a good season you will be chosen as an MVP and I'll make a, a Patreon only video about you now let's get back into the game here we go Redcoats second down 13 throws a perfect pass down the middle Brandon Firecrotch with a big post route over the middle now Austin Stewart, a good young pocket passer, giving it to Furman. Furman getting the blocks he needs. He kicks it to second gear and gets down the field for Clay Gruen to tackle him. Stewart now under center, giving it to Furman again. Furman running through for three. Par now 
is in the middle of the field trying to stop this running game. Austin Stewart changing the play here. They are in the 4-6. Can the Wolves stop this running game? Stewart decides to pass, and he gets sacked by Busamonte, the aging pass rusher. Austin Stewart now under center, dropping back. Surveying the defense, turns to the left side, it's caught by Diddy. Cool Diddy with a big catch, getting his feet inbounds. Now Stewart again, drops back, throws it, sideline. The cool Diddy again. Now, they give it to the backup running back, and it's a big touchdown, but there's a penalty on the Red Coats, I think. Is that true? Absolutely, it's on the red coat. Sadly, that running play is called back. And now red coats have to keep going. After that penalty, Stewart goes to the right side and it's caught but they get nothing on the play. They're forced to take a field goal. They deflate, got deflated after that play. It's six to 12. Field goals galore here. Bryant Bland with another field goal. Wolves ball is coming up soon. What can O'Connell do for this offense? This offense has been on fire. They're facing a good defense here though. McWilliams gets perfect blocking. He uses speed down the field and Rollins catch up, catch, catches up behind him. Jeez, that's hard to say. Now Mike Clark under center behind O'Connell. O'Connell steps back. He changes the play and it's almost picked off. He threw it too soon. Teddy Moon would have been open though. O'Connell runs to the left side. He doesn't know when to stop trying to make a play. It's almost intercepted by Roman Mathis. A player who was drafted in the first draft. O'Connell now runs to the right side. Sets up. Throws off his back foot. It's caught, but it's out of bounds. They're forced to punt. We're gonna have a draft maybe this after this season. If I can get enough names from you guys in the comments below. And it's caught by Firecrotch. Oh my, Marion Ray was right there for the pick, but he couldn't get there. Now Furman in the backfield with Waters. What will Austin Stewart do here? He steps up for the pass. He sits in the pocket and passes to the tight end. And he fights for extra yards for about eight. They're in a power set here with two backs on the field. Furman pitches, gets the pitch here. He fights for extra yards and gets about one. Now Stewart pitches the ball to Furman. Furman tries to trick Ray, but he gets the first down anyway. 11 carries for 74 yards. Let's see what can the Wolves defense here. We see the coaching cam. They pick, what, a cover three here? A cover three cloud. Stewart, under center in the I form. They run the ball up the middle with Furman. Furman breaks the tackle, and it takes three defenders to get him down. He's a big old power back. Now, Waters as the fullback. Gets the rush, and he gets tackled for a loss. Fourth down and six. The Redcoats are forced to take another field goal. Bland kicks it deep. It has the power. It's through the upright. They're only down by a field goal here. They have eight minutes to go. Can Sacramento score here? It's Wolves ball. O'Connell throws deep to Maine, and it's almost intercepted by Roman Mathis. A great free safety for the Redcoats. He plays the ball. He has good run support. He hits hard. Great, great free safety. Now O'Connell throws a great route to Michael Ingram on the fade toward the sideline. 
He is no Hilton Caskey, but man, is he fast. O'Connell now throws it to another fade route to Ingram, but Ingram drops the ball. O'Connell now drops back. He runs to the right side. He sets his feet. He throws it deep to Stan Main, who gets tackled at the sideline. First down and 10. Big plays finally happening. Throws it down the sideline. Teddy Moon jukes. It goes all the way for a touchdown. Wow, Austin Stewart now gets the ball to Furman. Furman powers his way. The wing tackles him, but it's still a first down. Holy camoli now. They throw it to the left side. It's Malcolm Water. Or not Malcolm Water. Sorry, it's Furman powering his way for about four. Second down and six. Furman and Waters on the field here. Austin Stewart in the uh, hands it off to Furman. Furman powers his way again. Now third down and one coming up. They have five minutes to go here. Stewart needs to make a play. They give the ball to their backup. But he gets stopped for a loss. Another field goal coming up here. Can Bland nail it from this deep? It's almost blocked and it's through the uprights again. Oh my goodness, four in a row. Four field goals. That's the only way they've scored so far. They kick the onside. It's down and the Redcoats grab it. Oh my goodness. They have another chance to score again. Second down and eight coming up. Redcoats. Now, Austin Stewart running to the left side and gets sacked by Busamonte cutting over to the middle of the field and sacking Stewart, who doesn't have the speed to outrun many people. Now, Stewart sits in the pocket, throws to the right side, and it's caught. But stop for a loss. Fourth down and eight. Diddy with the catch. Now McWilliams gets the ball for about four. The Wolves need to burn some time to win this game. Because if they don't, if the Redcoats get the ball again, there's a chance that they might win. Wolves are trying to burn this clock here. Letting the clock go. They make another play down the field. It's caught by Michael Ingram. They take it to the two minute warning. One of the best games for O'Connell for, for a long time. He has not thrown a pick yet. 223 with two touchdowns. Just donning up this defense. He's looking like his brother here but with way more athleticism. They gave the ball to Clark again. Clark hits the hole and gets about four. Redcoats use a timeout. Now, O'Connell runs to the right side. He throws on the run to Clark again. He gets stopped at the line of scrimmage by Farmer. A great linebacker, but he is aging. Now McWilliams gets the ball. He sees how the blocking's holding up. He uses his speed down the field and gets a big gain. 140 to go. They're in field goal range now. Calvin McWilliams is killing this offense. Or defense, sorry. Now, O'Connell, under center. Will they run the ball here? There's no timeouts left. McWilliams trucks a defender and gets about six. 40 seconds to go. McWilliams, third down and one. Gets the first down, and the game may be over. No timeouts to go. And the Wolves kneel here, and the game is done. Oh my goodness, another win for the Sacramento Wolves. This team is looking unstoppable. Please like and subscribe for more of these videos. As well, like I've said before, if you join on Patreon, your name will be at the end of this video. But you don't need to. Like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.